So I'm an da- organic dairy farmer's daughter and sister. So for me, it's been really an organic process, I guess. And I grew up with, um, with farming in that way or stockmanship um, being handed down from my grandparents and my father. And I think I love that. I love the fact that that connection with the the soil and the grass and then the breeding it's absolutely um it's abs- it's so fascinating it's such an interesting thing to be involved in the farm is sort of in the middle i mean it's perfect for grazing because then the the grass goes out in a spider's web all the way around so the cows can access relatively easy all the pastures and we've put down all these uh, tracks, lots of railway sleepers that have gone down to make it easy for the cows to walk. And then we have movable water troughs and... Oh yeah, I think when, when you can grow grass, why would you not feed it to your animals? Historically, Cheshire cheese has been made here in these, these counties surrounding this area. Staffordshire, Shropshire, North Wales, Cheshire. Uh, and. You know, every family would have had a slight variation on on, on what was a, an established recipe, really. Uh, some of the qualities will come from the breeding of the cows, uh, which has changed over the years, and we're obviously trying to move back to more where that breeding would have been. Uh, a lot of it, we believe, comes from the ground itself, um, the, the terroir, or... Uh, and that's why we're so keen to establish ourselves much more of a, a grazing system and a, more of that uh, goodness from the ground and those, those mineral, minerals from the ground naturally if we can. different ways of making Cheshire because they use different temperatures, different um, amounts of ingredients, but the basic ingredients are starter, rennet, curry and milk. Not much else. Depends how you make it, it's a difference. I think, same as any cheese, if you're making it in the area, like different cheddar makers have different ways of making it, different ways of making it. Everyone's distinct and they're from the other. Like I say, a lot of people trying to get theirs done and dusted within about four hours of the milk going in the vat. Now it takes a lot longer. Less acidic in the make. Less rushed in the make. It's a lot more um, distinct, I think, the Cheshire is compared to others. The flavour and the appearance. Starting to to bind quite nicely together, really. That's what we're looking for. Just a nice break. Chicken breast. That'll get tighter and tighter as we go on now. Grandmother would always say she'd like to see a wisp of fat on the back of the iron, but you know, we do generally, but sometimes you don't. Nice, clean, bright colour all the way to the rind, um, and a good full iron is what we say. So there should be a line, a ridge all the way along the, the bore. So we'd like to see a good full iron. You instantly get a little bit of acidity with the sides of your mouth, it should make your tongue tingle. So do you know, uh, there should be a lingering after flavour, minerally after flavour. And a hint of salt, but not too much. A nice balance. So, yeah, it's just, it should make your mouth sing, really. And that one does. <laughs> <laughs> 